my name's Michelle, and I'd like to welcome you to our Pilates class today. I'd also like to thank Betsy and Kathy for helping us out with our class. Thanks for being here. We're going to start off by standing up in our Pilates V. And when we stand in a Pilates V, we put our heels together and we turn our feet out. And that really helps us to tuck our rear end under, scoop our abs to keep that core nice and tight. Also, we think about our posture. We put the shoulders down and back and stand up nice and straight and tall. Let's go into some breathing. We're gonna put our hands together in the prayer position. It's so important to have deep breathing in our Pilates session. Let's take a nice inhale. Take our hands back as we inhale. Exhale, let's bring those hands all the way up to the ceiling and pull them back down to the prayer position. Let's inhale again. Exhale. Pilates breathing is in through the nose and out through the mouth. And let's do one more, filling those lungs deeply, exhaling as we pull the hands back to our heart center. We're going to reach down and get our bands and start warming up with our bands today. The exercise bands are a wonderful tool. Let's go ahead, let's take our bands. Put them right out in front of our chest. We're gonna warm up our arms today by simply pulling out on the band and releasing. Inhale deeply, keep breathing. Exhale, when you pull the band out. Pilates, you wanna exhale during the more challenging part of the movement. Pull it out strong. Good, let's take it out for three, warming up those biceps. One, hold it out. I want you to really pull it, really pull it strong, and let's pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Put that band down for a moment. Take a nice deep breath. Let's raise the band up above our heads as we continue to warm up. Let's warm up those shoulders. Pull that band out nice and strong and release. Remember, we're standing up nice and straight and tall to warm up these arms, get that blood moving. Let's take it for three, two, and the last one. Hold it out. I want you to really, really pull strongly on that band, and let's pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And take the band down. Let's put it down. We'll get back to it later. Everyone, let's come to the end of the mat. We're going to scoop our abs before we go down to the mat. That means that we want to hold that navel to spine contraction. In Pilates, this is our core or our powerhouse. Let's take a good breath. Drop that chin to chest. Put the hands on the front of your thighs, and I want you to slowly start to slide down toward the mat, going into what we call forward fold. Now, we'd like our hands to get on the mat. If you need to bend your knees to do that, that's fine. Otherwise, let's keep those legs straight. Take a nice breath and let's slowly start to walk the hands out. We're going into a plank position. A plank can be a very challenging position to hold, but it's a great one for building strength and building bone density. If the plank becomes too difficult, can drop down to your knees. I want to show you all kinds of modifications. If you can hold the plank, the full plank, let's come up. Make sure you continue to breathe. Always. Let's push the right heel down to the mat and bend the left knee. And then we're going to bring that right knee towards the mat and push the left heel down. And let's alternate. Breathing. Good. Warming up those calves and ankles. Good, let's do it for two, and switch. Last one, and switch, good. And let's hold that plank for a five, four, three, two, one. And lower yourself down to the mat. Very good. Let's go ahead, we're gonna push ourselves back into a prayer position. A prayer position is great to relieve tension in that lower back, stretching out those arms, and take another deep breath. From here, let's come up. We're going to turn around. We're going to get ready to do what we call a reverse plank. A 
reverse plank, we want to start off by having the knees bent, feet on the mat. The hands are in back of us. When we lift up, just be careful if your wrists or your shoulders bother you. I want you to lift up carefully. You want to take an inhale, exhale, lift the chest up off the, the mat. Really holding that strong. Trying to get your midsection parallel to the floor. Good. And let's drop it back down. Very nice. Take another inhale. Exhale. And let's take it up again. Holding it. Good. Of course, listening to those arms and shoulders. And take it back down. All right. One more time. Let's inhale. Exhale it up. Strengthening those arms. Wonderful. And take it back down. All right, you can continue with the modified, or if you want to go to the full plank, reverse plank, let's stretch out the legs. We're going to take a nice inhale, exhale, and now lift ourselves up. Good. Holding that position and taking it down. If you want to do the modified, please do what works for you. Inhale, let's exhale it up again. And take it down. The next time you can hold the regular plank or if you'd like to lift your legs up, let's try that version. Inhale, exhale, take it up. Either hold up here or if you want to try, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling and take it down. Inhale, exhale that left leg up strong and take it down. Let's try one more on each side if you're able to. Right leg up down and left leg up reach it up and down good hold out plank straight and drop it down very good now let's hinge forward we're going to stretch out that lower back sometimes we like to use a ring or a band if we can't reach down to the ankles that helps us and let's slowly lay back on the mat and pick up our band we're going to start to do our leg circles. The band again is a great tool, really helps us with our flexibility. Let's hook that right foot with that band and enjoy that stretch. The opposite leg can stay bent for more stability or straight. It's up to you. Turn the foot out in that Pilates V and let's start circling around, opening up that hip and breathing. We want to make sure that we allow these hips to move in their full range of motion. Stretch. Let's take it for three. Bring it around nice and strong and controlled. Two. Good. The last one. We stop at the top. All right. And yes, let's reverse that circle. Opposite direction. Your body starts to rock around. Bring that opposite leg up. For a little more stability. Otherwise, let's keep going in these nice smooth circles. Let's take it for three, two, and the last one. Good. Stop at the top. Get that beautiful stretch. And let's switch legs now. Let's take the left leg up. Hook up the left foot. Opposite leg either bent or straight. Turn your foot out in that Pilates V. And let's circle around. Remember, Joseph Pilates put this program together in the 1920s. He really was a pioneer in putting together a program that would keep us young, with muscles nice and flexible and strong. Let's take it for three, two, good. Last one. Good work. Let's stop at the top, give it that stretch, and reverse that circle. Open up that hip as wide as you can. Pilates is about challenging yourself, taking it nice and strong and powerful. Good, let's take it for three, two, and the last one. Good, stop at the top, stretch, and let's put that band down. From here, we're going to go into some scissoring movements. You might want to put your hands under your tailbone for a little more support, or you can hold the back of your legs. 
Let's take those legs up nice and straight and strong. Breathe and let's start our scissors. Keep those legs straight. If you want a little more core action, a little more challenge to the abs, you can go up. Keep your abs. Or you can keep your head rested back. Up to you. And keep breathing. Let's do it for three, two, and the last one. Let's keep those legs up nice and straight. Let's lift up and go into a single leg stretch. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and hold the back of our thighs, calf or ankle, up to you. Pull one straight leg in and then switch to the other. Challenge yourself. That breath. We're going to put our hands now in the back of our legs as we start rolling like a ball. So we're going to lift up. We're going to start rocking. We're going to wave our legs, pushing into our hands. That's going to help us roll up more easily. So let's take it. We're going to drop the band to the side, or you might keep it if you want to. If you want to continue to do the 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 to do Let's do two more. And we're going to keep sitting up. Good work. Lift 